Mm -hmm. Well, lucky for you, Cambie Brown knows just the spot. She joins us live from Medium Rare Records and Collectibles in Sacramento with more on this. Hey there, Cambie. Good morning. So it's actually Medium Rare and Kicksville because they share the spot here. Now you can see all of these 45s that are over here. And, you know, I started thinking, well, look, with Dimple Records closing their doors and Tower Records had already closed their doors, it's like, what is happening with people who want to go still to those old school record stores? Marty, what do you think has happened? Why do you think some of these stores are closing and, and a place like this can still stay around? Well, you know, it's sad that we've lost a lot of really iconic stores in, in, the, in recent years. And uh, it's a very difficult business, especially when you try to have a large scope and be a lot of things to a lot of people. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on the stores and it's... it's uh, Financially, not quite as lucrative, I believe. Yeah, now let's walk down here because you have a lot of uh, records that have been signed, which is pretty cool here on this back wall. One of the things that we're finding is that the uh, newer generation saying, hey, I don't want to buy everything online. I want to come and be able to look through everything. What's the benefit of that? Why do you think that people are coming back to those ways? Well, I think especially for the younger generation, uh, they're used to doing everything on their phone. And so they will sit on their bed and scan of some music and then download something. This is a purpose. This gives them a reason to get off the bed and come on out to have an experience, to make it an experience looking at the records, reading the, reading the backs of them, uh, looking at the artwork. Yeah, just like it used to be back in the old days where you're yeah. thumbing through everything, looking and finding out what you like. Okay, now let me show you over here because, Tina, I know you went and saw that movie yesterday, and I'm actually going to go see it with my mom tomorrow. Marty also wants to see it. Now, you know them as the Beatles, <laughs> but did you know they did not start as the Beatles? Well, they start might as. be shocking to some people. And in fact, you have one of the original records. Ah. This is a 45 that they were on. What was their name back in the day? They called themselves the Beat Brothers and backed up a singer named Tony Sheridan. Wow. And so this is it. And you can see down here it says Tony Sheridan and the Beat Brothers. And so that is actually the Beatles before they were the Beatles. And this is what's really cool when you come into a store like Medium Rare and Kicksville is that you guys are experts. You love this. You're retired. Right. This is your hobby that you've also turned into a business. But you don't care if you make a dollar or a thousand dollars because you love it, right? I love it. I would be doing this for free absolutely right now if I wasn't here. <laughs> yeah. And so you are just a wealth of knowledge uh, if you come on in here. They have some CDs too, as well as some cassette tapes. And then if you look back here, the ones that are back here on the wall, right, you have some of these Metallica. Some of these records will go for three, four hundred dollars. Wow. They have a lot of the rare things uh, that you may not be able to find everyone. They're here uh, everywhere. Excuse me. They're here at the wall building. If you want to get on out here, it's 11th and R. What time do you guys open today? We open at noon today. Open okay. noon to seven. Okay. And Where does he get them man all? has a day. He has a dang schedule. Oh, I'll tell you that in a second. His schedule, he's here 4 to 7, Monday through Friday, and he has people who will only come during those hours because obviously a wealth of information. They want his opinion on everything. And one of the things he says is he won't buy, like, one record or a couple records here and there, like you were asking, Tina. He'll buy people's whole collection. So he gets a ton of records, and then you get some of those gems, like that rare Metallica that you were seeing there. Tell him I'll be seeing him soon. <laughs> <laughs> Tina says you'll be seeing her soon. <laughs> Thank cool you. Stuff. Thanks, Gabby. Cool. <laughs>